Okay, we'll start off this haul with another micro drone from iFlight RC. This is the IH3. This is the Binance 5 version with the XM Plus receiver. As you guys know, I already did a review and build on the just the frame. I did my own custom build. This is the one that you can actually. I think this one is actually from Banggood, and I think this one comes with 1106 motors, I believe. Okay, so you get some stickers in the box. You get uh, some Avon Mini. These are the three-inch props. And you get a forever tube, and you get some extra parts here, JST to XD30 adapter, two large capacitors, a lollipop, two antenna, this one's a SMA, you get some uh, servo adapters, some M2 screws, I think those are probably for the props, a lot of little stuff there. You get some of this uh, 3M dual lock for the battery, I'm probably not going to use this. Get a nice battery strap. So this is a looks like a little bit upgraded version of their micro battery strap. It's a little bit wider and has a metal buckle now. Pretty nice. And this is an LC filter. Yeah, it says LC filter there. And I'm not sure why it's not installed. Maybe there's video noise issues. I'll have to wonder about this one. Okay, again another bag of more goodies. Uh, looks like. Uh, extra wire probably for the camera, some extra nylon standoffs, looks like M2 stuff. Yeah, a lot of, uh, looks like, yeah, oh, I think this is cables for the Runcam Split Mini, this little USB cables for the Split Mini. And also these little parts here, so these are probably all the leftover parts from the build, including the little camera mount for the Split Mini. And we get the smaller battery shop, interesting, so they're including a small one and a big one. I don't know why they have two different sizes. Alright, so that's everything that's in the box but the drone. The drone was very well protected in there. Obviously you guys should know what the frame looks like. And now we have a different stack in here, different parts, and interestingly enough, it looks like the flight controller might be hung from the top here. Not sure what that is. That's probably the flight controller. You got the, yeah, it's a very interesting setup here, flight controller there. Run Camp Slip Mini boards here, and then that's obviously the form and ASC. That must be the, this must be the video transmitter right there. Yeah, I think that's the video transmitter. So interesting setup. Must have been a really interesting building. See all the wires hanging from the flight controller that was probably put in there upside down. And then you got the XM Plus receiver. You're going to obviously put the, cut that fiber tube in half, half and then stick them on here. And then you got your SMA adapter here. So. Pretty clean build for ready to fly. And yeah, it just come with the buzzer also upside down right there as well. So frame looks a little different than mine. So mine might have been an earlier generation. And these are the 1106, 6000 KV. So imagine 3S batteries on this one only. And my build was a 4S build. So. And I'm not sure where this is going to come up here somewhere. This XD30 do a top mounted battery, probably. Yeah, I'll do a flight review on this one pretty soon. Okay, so I got another micro in here from Gearbest. This is the uh, Helifar Futon Mini. So, right in the top of the box here, you got the three inch uh, Dow Cyclone T3056 props, three bladed props. So these are pretty good props. Get a bag with the lock nuts for the motors and some zip ties. Get some stickers and the drone comes sealed in this plastic bag. Okay, so here's a look at the drone, stretch decks, configuration, three inch props. And we have some 1306 3100 kV motors, Sky Star is branded. I think we've seen these motors before. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a low kV and uh, probably going to give you longer flight times, not as much power. I think these are similar motors that were on the X140. Got a nice little stack here, three boards, um, looks like it's soft mounted, 401 AC, F4 flight controller, and video transmitter. And then you have the camera here, that is the uh, Furry uh, B camera. So this one's kind of a hit and miss camera, some of them are okay, some of them have issues, we'll see. But you can see here, it's out in front, and no camera protection at all here. Pretty skinny top, you got some exposure there. Got a circular polarized antenna out the back here. And you can't tell if that's soldered on. It looks like that's soldered on. No micro FL connected there. 
to see what the reception is. It looks kind of like a mini pagoda antenna. And the bottom mounted battery and XD30 connector. Get some sticky pads on the bottom here. It looks like individual arms. Arms look cut okay and arms are chamfered. Only three screw holes. Yeah, decent battery strap here. Moves around. Could possibly do top mount and battery. I think we'll just go fly it as a bottom mount on a probably a 4S550 milliamp hour. Okay, pretty good, pretty good one for this one. Anyway, I'll have a review video on this one coming up pretty soon. Okay, I picked up another frame kit here. This one is actually from Amazon. Uh, it's branded Ready to Sky. This is a clone frame of, uh, I think the Schizo frame, the Nova. This is a, they call it the Nova 235, four millimeter arm. Uh, so I'm, I got this frame for a lot of you guys have been asking for a build for parts from Amazon or locally purchased from uh, the States instead of um, China. So uh, that's why I got this frame. And so I have, I'll have another video, I'll have a video with this frame review as well as a build with some parts that all the parts will come from the Amazon store. But just to give you uh, an unboxing here of what you get for this, it's pretty inexpensive. It's like one of the most, most popular frames on Amazon right now. $30, it's like $29.99. Uh, get a little customer feedback paper there. You get some M3 screws, more M3 screws. Battery strap, uh, that's okay, not too bad. You get some nice uh, black M3 knurled standoffs and some nylon standoffs. Uh, more M3 screws. And you get a, a foam battery pad here. I think one for the GoPro as well. Okay, we got some washers here and some nuts. Got some foam feet for the arms. This is going to be a top mounted battery setup. Okay, so these are the Looks like decals that go on to the arms. So I think they're just basically stickers. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this or not. It's pretty, pretty weird looking. Okay, and we have a explosion diagram here with a little bit of an assembly schematic. You can see top plate, bottom plate, and some sandwich arms. Pretty basic setup here. And this uh, listing of where the screws go. And here are all the carbon pieces. Just a quick look at it here. I'll do a more thorough look and the review video, but yeah, looks all right. Not bad for three bucks. Okay, got another product here from AKK. This is another VTX called Oscar's Backpack VTX. Okay, just a quick look at this, and this is obviously one. Obviously, as the name implies, it's a backpack VTX. So it goes on the back of the micro cameras and includes some standoffs and screws there for mounting. You have those two screw holes. It has an MMCX connector. It's kind of interesting that this would. You would use this on a micro, on a micro camera. This is kind of odd. I would probably just use a standalone antenna, plug it in there. Um, maybe they're going with that instead of a, a micro FL. That might be the reason why. Hey, this one has a microphone. There's a little button there for your band's channel power selection. Yeah, and then some LED lights. And here are your wires. A whole bunch. Uh, I think this one does do smart audio as well. And you get five volt out to the camera as well. So. I'll cover all this in the video review, but this, I think it's a pretty interesting looking product, very tiny. Obviously you don't have to mount it to the back of the camera if you don't want to. You can put this into a really small space somewhere. Okay, so i got some new parts in here from HGLRC, and this is actually from their Amazon store. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, but HGLRC is now stocking in the Amazon warehouse. If you guys are looking for some of their parts, uh, for US shipping and uh, for prime shipping for like stuff that you want to get pretty quickly. Uh, this happens to be a new part of these motors. These are the new 2207-1775 KV motors. And uh, you guys have seen this flight stack already. I've already reviewed this. This is the uh, Titan Plus stuff 460 with the GTX 585 video transmitter. Um, just show you real quick so that you guys have already seen these parts already. I've already done a review on this one. But uh, they sent me these parts to do a special uh, build. This is, uh, these parts are going to go into the uh, Nova frame that you just saw, that uh, sort of schizo clone freestyle frame. And uh, they sponsor, they're going to be sponsoring a video to promote their Amazon store. So these parts came from the Amazon store. This is going to be a flight stack video transmitter. And then this is obviously going to be a 6S build with these uh, 2207-1775 KV motors. And here's just a uh, quick look at the motor itself. Hollow shaft design goes all the way through. 
pretty nice looking windings. And this size is pretty popular for a lot of racers and freestylers. And we have a C-clip on the bottom. We have a little collar here for the motor wire so it doesn't get caught up on the bell. Yeah, not too notchy. But a pretty nice looking motor. Should make for a pretty good 6S build with that flight stack and that frame. So yeah, I'll be doing a special build video with these parts on that. Uh, it'll basically be an Amazon build. All the parts will be coming from Amazon for those of you guys that kept asking for a build for the US guys that just want to get stuff locally from the United States Amazon warehouse. Then uh, yeah, this is going to be the build video for you. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, I got a couple more things here from Nadissi. And uh, if you saw a while back, I did a review on their XF3 frame, which was not so great. And I, uh, as you saw, I broke an arm in that video. Uh, so I gave them the feedback on that, and they've updated the entire frame and addressed a lot of the flaws that I mentioned. So they sent me a updated new frame here. I'm going to build this out in a new video, and we'll fly it, and we'll see if it's improved over the old version. Uh, just from the pictures and everything that they've sent me, it does look like it's a... Uh, a much better design than the old ones, so you want to stay tuned for this video if you like these kind of alien style micro frames. And this is, I think, top mounted alien style micro frame. And then I'll be putting these motors on here. These are the Tachyon 1108 6000 kV. Probably going to run this on 3S kV, it's pretty high for 4S. But there should be two motors in here of each. So basically, uh, yeah, well, you'll see that these two guys in the same video. I'll be doing a build uh, with this motor on this frame. Okay, so the uh, Yishin Tyro 99 uh, build kit is finally come in. Uh, it's a 5-inch $99 build, and actually with some coupon codes, if you guys hopped on the deal before they cut off the coupons, it was uh, actually a lot cheaper. I actually got this for, I think, about $80 because I had some special coupons. But it's going to show you what you got in the box. Just do a quick unboxing, and I'll do a, a parts overview and build video uh, pretty soon, not too not too long from now. So stay tuned for those. Uh, so let's see, we got the box. We got some stickers. We got some aluminum side pieces. Now uh, this is uh, the the weaker aluminum, the 665, but it's going to have some carbon side plate to strengthen it up. We've got some we got an XT60 connector. We got some micro connectors here. This is what's going to make the build really easy, is everything kind of connects with these little plugs, so I don't think there's going to be all that much soldering. You got some screws, and got some screws here for the camera. You get a couple of uh, Asian branded battery straps. A whole bunch of zip ties, cool. You get a MMCX2 SMA, looks like. It looks like there's actually an RPSMA adapter for the VTX. And this is the Pagoda antenna. Okay, so these are all the uh, carbon pieces. You got the arms, the side plates, sandwich pieces, etc. So I'll go over the, this in the parts overview. Get a wrench here for probably the prop nuts. Get a couple of these and this uh, machine gun. I think the one of the uh, uh, other Asian models, a TS215, I think, came with this. I think this is for gripping the motor bell or something like that. So not totally useless. Okay, we got a whole bunch of these uh, bi-blade props, and they're all clear. And we get some heat shrink here, this is for the motor wires on the arms. And you get battery protection plate and foam for that. Probably not going to use this, it's just to protect the bottom on a battery when you land. And we get a whole bag of your nuts and screws and nylon standoffs. So you're going to need all this, we'll sort this out and use this in the build. And you got Yishin FPV camera. I'm not sure if it's CMOS or CCD, but uh, obviously for the price, it's going to be pretty uh, generic and probably going to need a replacement lens here if it's going to be a narrow field of view, most likely. I think I've seen this before. Okay, so here's the flight stack. 
and it already comes with the capacitor soldered on. So it looks like it's a 470 microfarad, 25 volts. A little on the small side, get your 401 EC. So this should be 5S capable. Generic looking flight controller. Does it's an F4 with a Betaflight OSD. Obviously, you got all these connectors here for connecting up. Probably the camera, receiver, etc. Got a bootloader button there. And it looks like um, you have a, some soft mounting here. So this is the, actually a part that costs quite a bit of money. I think it's like four bucks, uh, maybe a relay, relay CC or something like that. So this is like a rubber dampening uh, soft mount for the flight controller because this has a 32k gyro. I was a little bit concerned about that, but looks like they spent a little extra money here and soft mount of the flight controller, so that should help with uh, tuning and vibration issues. But it's already kind of yeah, it's already put together. You just need the wiring loom that's included in the other bag to connect the ECs to the flight controller, then connect up your other parts. So really not a whole lot of soldering here. And here's the video transmitter. Not a whole lot to talk about here. Power switchable. Got an LED. Obviously another connector here. Button for switching and your MMCX connector. So pretty basic. And here's a look at the motor. Yeah, pretty basic motor. Of our open bottom design. Not bad for the air gap. It's a uh, 2206 2150 kV, so it will do 5S. It says up to, up to 5S, so it's probably why it's a lower kV. This is probably a 5S build, although I'm going to be flying this on 4S. And it's a, not a hollow shaft. C clip on the bottom. Pretty basic looking motor. These motor wires are coated in plastic. So that's kind of a that's kind of a downside. So they're obviously saving a little bit of cost there. So you're going to make soldering this up perhaps a little bit of a challenge, but we'll find out in the build. Well, it looks like everything that's in the box, so stay tuned for the uh, build video that will be coming up pretty soon.